Okay, so we're over here back at the desk and I have gone ahead and printed out some envelopes and started some into pockets and things just to save time. And then I wanted to show this real quick too because I went ahead and prepared a few more for printing just to have ready to go. Um, putting little you know, sticky things to cover, uh, just white things. So I've shown in before you can cover up things that you don't want with book page, music page, something that maybe is interesting for a, a underlayer, but sometimes you might just want white. One thing that I have done for these that was super fast and easy, not something I normally would want to waste, but these labels came in a pack of... Uh, I think file folders or ta something with tabs or those uh, sheet protectors, something like that. And I'm not going to use these. So I decided they were sticky backed and they're white. So I might as well use them for the envelopes. And some of them are even pretty large. So uh, I have done that even using just the little strips in between. You know, I'm only not using this blue part, uh, but just using all these little labels. And then they're already sticky back to just put right over the the things that you might want to cover up, you know, on here. So maybe not that one so much, but maybe I don't want that big dark spot there or something. So that's just a quick way to do it if you have some sticker sheet that you don't mind using up. So uh, the other thing that I have done uh, kind of ahead, uh, but I'm going to go through because it takes me a long time to figure out maybe where I want to have envelopes and pockets and different things. So I've kind of gone through here and just staged some of the ones that I had printed. And that way, if I end up with a spot I don't have anything, I can print something specifically for that spot out of my envelope file. So I'm going to start just at the beginning and show you where I've kind of put things. And as I mentioned before, your journal is going to start to get thicker. And so that's why I wasn't too worried about the size because you can already see it's going to want to be open. And once I put any other kind of postcards, journaling cards, any other thing, it's even going to be a little more open. So I'll probably want to put some sort of closure on this. Uh, and again, you can always increase the size of your spine if you want. This was the book that already had a spine. But in the case of the other journal, in the case of this one, see it's it's very thin, but by the time I get this uh, finished, I might want it quite a bit thicker, you know, just so I stay at the width that's here. So I'll be able to make whatever size spine I want. And so you're gonna get to see it two different ways uh, as we get you know further along here. But I don't mind them being chunky and kind of wide open. Um, as long as you have something to kind of hold them closed when you want to carry it around or whatever. So let's just start here at the beginning, and I may sit down um, as I work on this. So I, I like the interest on my front, so I'm not going to put anything there. I may put a pocket once I get this uh, completely finished. I may put a pocket on the front cover. That might be nice. So in the inside, I had just this, and so I thought this would be fun to have kind of a flippy thing. So I'm going to put this envelope, this was the, the flap, so some of them I have kept the flap open, and that way I can sew it into my signature this way. So for this one, I used an envelope that I had printed up and down, and then I went ahead and I lined the inside and, out, and front and back so that they're a little bit sturdier. I wouldn't have had to, you know, if I was just going to glue this down, but usually it's not something attractive. So if I were to have wanted to glue this onto this front page this way, then, you know, maybe I didn't need to line this. Now, if I wanted, I could glue just this flap down, make it a flippy thing this way. That might be kind of nice. So I can either put it in my signature and then on this side, I have this piece. I could kind of just glue it here and here and make it a tuck on this side or flip it this way, glue it here, which I actually kind of like that too. And then it, it opens. And then I can put something more attractive here, um, even maybe some wide washi tape or anything to make that more decorative. And then that still, if I wanted, I could just glue it here and here and I could leave this a tuck of some kind. 
So, you know, those are the kind of the two ways that I can do that one. So I'll think about that and decide about that. But I do want to um, get rid of these little white edges. Now, again, you may not mind those if you're not someone who likes to, you know, do the age thing. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what it would look like. Because I don't mind that at all. So I'm just using Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. You can use a lighter color or just use a lighter touch and don't get too much on there. But you see that just takes that, it just knocks that white line down. So I'm just going to do a little bit here. I could go on to this if I want, just in case any of that's going to show. I can get this little edge. And I had gone ahead after I put my paper on the inside here. Afterwards, I went ahead and trimmed this curve into it because if I do have it sewn in this way, it's just going to be easier to get a card inside or out that way. But if I do it this way here, then it's super easy to do that. And again, if I just attach the top and bottom, I would have a little tuck too. So we'll think about that. But I do want to go on this edge too. Okay, so that will be my first one. And then let's see what I have. Okay, I, I had this music page here and I decided it was fun to do the one that has some music, uh, the violins and the guitar and some little music there. So I thought that would be nice. So I'm gonna sew that one in and I've already gone ahead, I think, and Put some book page not in the down the whole way, and actually I see a little a little bit here that is loose somewhere. I thought right here. I need to add a little a little glue along that edge. So okay, so that one is ready to go made my little notches, and I'm just using, a, this is a one inch circle punch to make my little notches. You can use any size. Uh, you wanna wait till your glue is dry to do that because it's, sometimes it'll get stuck in your punch if you don't have the glue dry. So this'll be my next page. And I like to add a little interest when it's just some kind of plain pages. Okay, that one, I like this one how it is. I'm not gonna put anything there because it's just gonna bulk it up too thick. I can always clip things with paper clips. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm gonna actually clip a pocket on. And then I like, these have a couple of short pieces there, so I'm not gonna do anything there either. And then I got to here, and this was, you know, kind of boring. So I think I'm gonna put this pocket here. It was something I had printed both sides, but I'll tell you why. This is how my crazy brain works. But when I saw this, I was trying to find somewhere to put it. And I looked at this line and this, this had a line in it already. And this has what looks like a mistake. I don't know what it, what part of this design it was, but it had a line going through it. So I thought it might be kind of fun to just line it up and glue it down right there. Now, when I do this one, I could, I haven't lined this yet. So if I want, I could just trim this white off and not even have to worry about aging it. So let me first, Let's do, let's line it so it's a little bit thicker. I could also leave it with this flap, line this inside, and that's kind of how you get into it, just as kind of a thing. I could even put like a little closure of some kind there, that that's kind of just fun that, to leave that flappy. So let me go ahead and cover the this with book page or something, and we'll see. We'll see what we like. So that's kind of nice. That's about wide enough to cover that anyway. Maybe I'll add a little piece or go this direction. Think smarter, not harder. 
Okay, we don't have to go that direction. So that's good, I can just do that. So I'm gonna just kind of sneak in here. And you can use a glue stick, you can use, you know, this is that um, Aqua Tombow glue. And then I also have some, uh, this is uh, art glitter glue that I really like too. Just whatever you have. So let's try glue stick on this one. A glue book would have been smart here. If it's not going to be real functional as far as the liner paper, you can just do it around the edges and you don't have to then worry about a bunch of glue everywhere as long as you just get the edges that you need. And then I can just trim this. It's taken me a little longer to get this video out. I actually recorded the first part of it up until this part a few days ago. But I got, I don't know if you do this, but I got sidetracked cleaning up my studio and I, I got a wild hair and I wanted to do some purging and organizing and all of that, so, which feels really good. So, see, that'll be kind of cute. And then you can stick something in here. I could even curb that a little bit right here if I want. So, let me do this side with something that I have. I have a little pile of mostly skinny stri strips from um, trimming all the the digitals and the paper for the insides of these books that I've saved to use as little decorative elements as I want to decorate things. So they're all kind of too small, but let's see. I'm gonna grab any kind of book page. It doesn't even have to be French for this side because I'm not gonna really see it. So I mostly just wanna get the delicate edges. And then I can, if I kind of see where this is, I could kind of round this corner a little bit if I wanted to. As I cut this, let's see. Maybe. There, that's kind of a cute one and then just glue it down. Now I could also, I could just uh, have a pocket here and I could just glue leaving this top edge open and that way it would be a pocket against this too. So I could do that. Now to remind myself that that's a pocket, what I might wanna do, I need to age these. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit is make notch this a little bit so then I will know that it's a pocket behind there. So, let's get my Every envelope is different. Every envelope has its own little set of issues. Maybe it's damaged or whatever. Um, so it kind of makes each thing something different to do. And you might say, well, why don't you, you're kind of lining all these anyway to make them thick. Why don't you just make the pocket out of cardstock or something else? It, well, I could do that, but then I'd be throwing away all these envelopes. So that's kind of, kind of the whole thing is to use up things that might otherwise end up in the garbage or recycling. So that's why I just want to 
use up, it makes you, um, it feels good to use up things, you know, instead of throwing them out. Okay, so I have that now, maybe a little bit on this edge. So what I wanna do is maybe do a notch right here. That way, otherwise I might forget that that's a pocket. So kind of estimate the middle and punch that out and then do that. So that's kind of cute. That, and then I can actually stick something back there where I have a little card of some kind. And I can put another little card there and then still have room for something here. So that'll be cute. Okay, so this, I can go ahead and glue that down because it's going to go here and not need to be sewn in. So I could just, I think I'll use my art glitter glue. And I'm just going to go around the three sides. And that goes there. Keeping my eye on my line. So it's a silly thing. No one ever would know that that's why I chose to do that. But sometimes as I'm going through, you know, and you're trying to make a decision, that those kind of things maybe pop out to you. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry there. Now I'm to the middle of that first signature. Now here, I kind of did the same thing in a way, is I saw this red and it was the only thing red on that whole page. And this was an envelope that when I printed it, for some reason it didn't print the whole design, it just printed the bottom stripe, but where the top should have been. So I went ahead and just trimmed it off. And this is two layers of the envelope. So I, I just glued them together for strength. And I didn't trim it to the length, but I was able to then, you know, trim off the white edge because I knew it was gonna be a belly band. And so if I put it kind of here, this has a little bit of red. So even though nothing else about it really makes sense, this kind of color is kind of here. Um, I like how it looked together. So I need to shorten it a little bit and then I can do the same thing and just glue those two ends on. So I'm gonna cut it off, I think right here. And then it kind of fits within this little border. And so that looks cute. It's just an additional part of the already designed. Now, I didn't do my aging on the edges of this, and I've already put the glue, but that's okay. I could either just real quick do this before it dries or not worry about it. Okay, so there's a little belly band. And then I can decorate these all up a little more if I wanted. Now, if I wanted to have stitched this on my sewing machine, which would have been really cute, I should have done that before I glued it down. So think about that. Okay, and then this one, this one I didn't do anything to yet either. Let's see, let me get some of these out of my way. But I thought it would look really nice. I like the colors. She's got a little bit of blue. Now this actual envelope that I printed is from Roxy Creations, her uh, French Chateau series that I, I did a couple of journals in that kind of theme. So I could put her here. I thought she might be nice as a corner pocket. I could leave her as a flip kind of thing because I have that on it and have this and maybe put some washi tape here but I don't know why I would do that. I mean, it's kind of, I kind of, it's kind of nice to have a little secret spot you could still write here. And then this could be a pocket that maybe I just have open from this side that you could tuck little things in. So I have to think about that. Or a corner pocket. What do you think? Do you like the flippy pocket? That's kind of a secret flippy thing. 
We'll come back to that one because I'm not sure what I want to do there. But I, I like how that's going to look, so I'll leave that one there. Maybe I'll clip it on here so I I know it's a, kind of what I want to do. Okay. Nothing in those. Those looked okay. And then I had the other half of the this one. You know, I always want to make sure I like the other side, and I do. It looks great. So that's going to just get sewn into my signature. So that is my first signature. I still need to decide if I'm going to put this on this side or this side. This is kind of how I originally thought about doing it. So we'll just leave that for now. So that's one signature. And then here is my second one. I'm going to leave these blank for now. I can always add more later. I want to go to the obvious places that I need things and then add to from there because once I put cards in this, it's going to be it's going to be pretty thick. So this is another envelope that I had made uh, with Roxy Creations kit, and you can see I I instead of using the white paper, I used book page um, just to give it another layer because again. These are kind of background. You can add embellish and do things to these as if they're just backgrounds. So I kind of liked how this one looked here and then on the other side as well, looks good. So that one's gonna get sewn in, but I do need to line it and I need to, um, I need to line it and, and age up my edges. So this one I had put the flap inside. I could glue it down and trim off that top and do it that way. <clears throat> or I could leave this glued down, glue it on the inside, and then maybe just use some Distress Oxide to age that and not worry about lining this whole thing. And then just line this side with book page or something sturdier. And then that way they just kind of open here, the pockets. Does that make sense to you? So you can do them that way also. So maybe since I've done this one uh, with the with the flap inside, um, I could go ahead and do that that way. Might as well since I did the other one different. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna use my distress oxide on this first get this whole edge darker and I want it quite a bit darker because it's going to be the inside of my envelope the other thing <clears throat> if you didn't want to do this you could put washi tape on it you could you know decorate it however you want you could do some stamping on it maybe I'll do some of that so it doesn't look so plain so that's going to get glued inside this way and I'm still going to distress that but I think maybe what I'll do and I'm going to do it this way because that's the way you're going to see is add some stamps and I happen to have this little Paris kit so this is from Cavallini paper it's, I've had this forever <coughs> and let's see it comes with its own little ink pad even if I can get the lid off so I can do It's funny, it's almost, when you see where this is gonna go, it's almost fitting that that got smudged a little bit. So I'm gonna put some glue, get some of that ink off of there, and glue this down. So that just made my envelope thicker. And see, you don't really, this is really kind of just on the inside. I could, you know, like I said, put book page in there, but I'm not gonna worry about that. You're really not gonna see it. 
Okay. And then I do need to line this inside here. And let's see. You're also not gonna see it very much. If this is, oh, perfect, this is good. I'll just line it with this. And I think I'll tear this in two pieces because it'll be easier to work with. I'll go just like that. So I think I'll use this one. in here before I forget and then I need to trim this off and the smaller scissors I think it'll be easier I kind of like that and you do want to put a little glue if those are coming apart let's do this side I want to trim because that's where my fold is. Oops, my fold is going to be and it'll be too bulky. And then my distress my edges real quick. And these you don't really need to notch because I left the envelope shape. Sturdy that up a little bit. Now the other thing I could do to this one, I think I will because I have that white edge and I don't need that edge as far as my envelope because my opening is here. I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and sew just around that little white part and it's just gonna give it a little bit more interest. So I'll be right back.
So that just gave it a little bit more interest. If you can see that. And then if it's not, I use kind of a camel colored thread. You can just use your Distress Oxide if you want to see it a little bit more. And it just kind of gives it that little added detail. And then I like to do it on the back side for sure because I don't like all the little white puncture marks on your paper. So I just use that distress. And now I have a, a cute little envelope for here in our book. Okay. So that's in my second one. That little pocket. And I'm going to probably put that a little lower. I just want to have room for whatever size height card that I might want to put inside. And then this one, I thought maybe would look good here. It kind of hides her a little bit, but keeps her head out if I put it all the way down. And then it's actually the same paper, so it kind of looks cute there, I thought. That's just another pocket. And then on this side, same thing. Um, it, it really matches. And then this curly Q is kind of like in the in the paper in the B side that I put there. So I think that would look cute there. And I already, did I do this one? No, I did not. So I need to line this one real quick. And what will I use for this one? don't quite fit all the way. I could trim this off though uh, and just glue it and then I don't have that white edge. So maybe I'll do that. I'll just make it a shorter envelope. And I kind of don't worry if it's sticking up a little bit because I can trim that off. I'd rather make sure it goes all the way to the edge, the top edge. So just do that and then trim it a little bit. So same thing here. And again, you, you can make, you know, put book page that goes all the way down. You might have the type of envelope. This one is not would not be good to do that but sometimes you have an envelope that's easy to open up and then glue back closed and then you can line the whole thing i will probably have something to show you like that at some point here oops too far okay and then i'm just going to trim off that top One thing nice about reorganizing my studio is that I I moved my ironing board right next to me with my guillotine so I can reach over and cut super easy. So I'm going to um, trim these ends too and then just glue them back closed because my, my liner doesn't go all the way to the ends. And actually, if I had been thinking and smart which I wasn't. I need to trim this one a little more. That would have opened up my envelope and I could just cover this whole thing. But I don't really need to. So now you can see my paper. Oh, I need to trim that one a little bit. But I needed to think about that ahead. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue the two ends. My glue 
need, my tip needs to be cleaned, so I'll always use this one. Okay. And then this one I will want to notch with my with my punch, but I want to wait till the glue dries. It will punch much easier. So, we'll put that one there. That's the back of the one I stitched. And so that's the second signature. Sorry if I had this out of frame. So I've got two. And then this one, I think I have a little less in this one. But I liked, I had done an envelope that I ended up cutting. There's the other half. I decided I really liked this for a corner pocket because the chandelier is kind of just a charcoal gray color and I just thought it doesn't really cover up too much of her and I'll just do a little corner thing and I can trim this so it's not so long and skinny but I kind of almost like it that way so I will need to line this I I don't really mind this back print because it's at least kind of goes with the decor of my page so I think I'm just going to line this front edge so it's thicker and then just glue the whole thing down. So we'll do that right now. So let's see, where is something big enough to line this? A piece of book page would be good. Let's paint it on. just like that and I need to age this
Okay, I like that. I think I'm gonna let that dry really well. And if that doesn't stick because there's some pointy corners, then I'll use um, some of this art glitter glue just to make sure it's really attached. So we have that. This I kind of don't mind because it's interesting that the papers are different sizes. Um, we'll leave these to maybe do something later. I really liked this one. This is an envelope I had done before in my last kit with the uh, Roxy Creations French Chateau. And I liked it. it had this blue and this blue with lacy kind of look. So I like that one there. I need to line the inside of this. I had already lined this because you see it through the window. So I just, because I'm gonna leave this as a flip now, I need to line this back page. Um, and for some reason I had done that. I don't know what my plan was here originally, but this way I can attach it to this page if I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and put something here in this little section here. And I don't want to cover my window, so I just want it to be enough to cover that. So let's see if I have any of these strips are wide enough. This has some blue on it. So how do I like that? That's not bad. That's not bad. What else do I have? The other thing I could do is look in my bin of things that I've already started cutting up and see if there's anything that I might look good there. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. So let's put that there. Here. And that's already thick. So that's going to look good there, sewn in. Okay. And I'm just going to leave these for now. I could always, you know, slap a pocket on that glues right on top. I'm just really needing to get the ones that need to be here before the signatures go in. I liked this one. This was a pocket that I had done and it does have a finished backside and it's already made into a pocket. 
So I'm just gonna use a rusty paper clip that I just used little jewelry pliers and curled the ends and just use that as a little clip it to the page instead of gluing it on. Just for something different. Okay, and then this one I had already done. And I'm just going to glue it on. It, it has the notch already and it's lined with book page. So I'm going to glue it right there. I think that looks nice. So let's see. And I could just do the three sides. Let's try that. And then it's actually a pocket in behind it also, a secret pocket. I like secret little surprises. So we'll just glue that there. The nice thing about this Tombow glue, if you could see I'm rubbing, if you get glue outside of where you wanted it, it just, um, it's kind of like plasticky, it's clear glue. You, it'll just ball up and roll right off and you can just clean it off. So that's kind of nice. Okay, that one, I'll leave that. Now this is the other side of that envelope and I think I'm, I'm tempted to just glue, glue it on the ends to this page so that that could be like another little tuck spot. Um, or I can put it that way and put this here, this pocket. I could just cover it like that and glue this pocket down, or this pocket could get glued to that side. Hmm. I have to think, I'll have to think about that too. So I'll wait to glue that down. And this, this, and then this one I was going to put here as a corner pocket. So I could do two things. I could just, because I'm going to glue it down, I could just glue these two together for the thickness that I need. And then it's, it's thick enough. And I could actually, you know, round this more if I wanted to. So I think first let me glue that together. Let's see. I'm going to open that up because I have to trim it anyway. So now it's the extra thickness that I need. And since I've done that, I could just trim this off also this white, since I, I never like that. I need to glue that down. I'm gonna age this edge real quick while my iron is heating up. The other nice thing about having my ironing board right here is whenever I glue something and it's kind of, you know, lumpy and needs to dry still, I just hit it with my iron real quick. And it, it usually will just flatten it out nice without, you know, heating the glue so much it needs to come apart again. But um, let's see, I need to adjust the height of this. And I kind of want to round this a little bit. Maybe I will. Let's see. It fits here. So let's go. Something like that, maybe. But 
do you see how wonky that kind of is? It's just still because it's not quite dry. So I'm going to hit it real quick with my iron. So it just kind of stiffens it up and gets it dry much faster. So I'm kind of not happy with my cut line though. Okay. And then that can go here. So let's, let's see if this is working enough. To me, art glitter glue for this job of putting envelopes onto pages is kind of my go-to for strength of the glue. And again, this is one that I could have taken to my sewing machine if I wanted to do a little extra interest and do a line. You can also just do it, you know, by using a pen and just draw it on. Okay, I think that's the end of that and that. And that's a nice little pocket and then the end. So I have, a, you know, at least one or two or three pockets of some kind in each signature. So it's kind of making it thicker. But then it gives me a lot of interest, you know, kind of flipping through here without it just being just the pages, you know, it's just some kind of other things. This is interest, another pocket, the one I need to still do, the back side. So it just kind of made it a little in more interesting to flip through than just the pages and places to hide things and stick things. And, you know, you can always throw in some paper clips and have places to add things. But I'm, I'm pleased with this. Enough pockets, maybe add that one. And there you go. So that wasn't too bad, that was pretty quick. So we've got the envelopes in there. I will be ready now to sew the signatures in and then we can decorate them. It is probably gonna be a week or so before I get another video out though, um, because it's time for family vacation. And then I have company coming here for a few days. So uh, you may not see me for a few days. That will give you time to print out envelopes and do all that fun stuff and uh, do your pockets. You can go ahead and decorate them and, and you know maybe start thinking about journaling cards or things that you want to put inside too. So um, get to work on that and I will be back to see you as soon as I can. So have a great rest of your day. Now go make something. Bye.